Jeez, it's taking me so long to get up here. Hey, old guy. Yes? Here's your laser sword thingy. Oh, cool. Except, uh, I don't need it. Yeet! Yes, yes, I know. My channel has been filled with Pokemon openings, but for the people who subscribed purely for my LEGO content, here is another review coming at ya. I am reviewing the LEGO Star Wars The Last Jedi Octu Island Training. <clears throat> Set 75200. Before I start reviewing this, I want to give a quick heads up that there may be spoilers in here. I mean, I may blurt one out by accident, but I, for, for the most part, won't. <clears throat> Porgs are evil. <clears throat> Porgs are the Sith Masters. <clears throat> so this lovely thing has 241 pieces. On the front, we get the nice Last Jedi art. Luke's hut. Old Man Luke. Porg. Ray. Uh, Ray smashing a boulder in. Hmm, interesting, interesting. On the back of the box, you know, just the play features, but uh, you don't need to look at that. We'll go over them. But yeah, let's let's get this awesome set built. I guarantee some of my fans are uh, l liking that sweet jump cut. So this is Luke's hut. Man, oh man, it's not necessarily Luke's hut because you know. Um, here it even shows on the box. There's multiple other huts. That's what the huts actually look like in the movie, but. It's fun. So, I don't know what we should go with first. I think we'll start with the minifigures. Starting off with the old man Luke figure. Wow. Just wow. Like, Lego, we haven't gotten a Luke figure, but please make him cheaper to get. This is a $30 set, and it's like a $20 box size and $20 piece range, so... $30 is just outrageous, but they know we're gonna buy it for Old Man Luke, and look at do, I did. So, um, his choice of weapon here is his staff. In inside the movie, he doesn't really use the staff very much, that I remember. So, hey, that that's totally okay. But let's get the staff out of the way to show you some printing. I do like the print for Luke's, um robes here, but except I wish we have gotten Luke's brown outfit because he wears the brown outfit consistently throughout the movie and this white look with some tan and the Jedi belt, it, it's just not very good. I wish Lego would have gone with that tan outfit, but hey, who knows, we might get it in a future Last Jedi set because Star Wars sets come in threes, three waves somehow, and hand-wise, you know, he got his electronic hand. Which is very nice. So on on the back, one thing to note is he does have his new hairpiece. I will show you that. The new hairpiece. I don't know how useful it will be, but it's like a, it's it's like short hair and then long hair. It, it's kind of confusing. There's his back face. It's like an angry face. So that's what it looks like with the hair on. And we're gonna leave the hair off. So, his cape is the new material, the new softer material, which is very nice. Uh, I haven't seen any YouTubers point this out, though. It's that Luke's cape is bigger than other capes, because this is a normal green cape, and Luke's cape is bigger, obviously. So, hey, YouTubers, I haven't seen you point that out. So, what's under Luke's cape, uh, back printing wise it just continues that very nice robe design. And it's generic enough that it could be the front, possibly. Because you could be easily hiding the front. But yeah. In my good, unbiased opinion, I think that this Luke figure is a pretty good figure. Uh, for an old man Luke figure. I mean, the hair is off. The whole outfit's off. But it's good. Next, On to the next figure. The next figure in the set is Ray. <coughs> Ray is Bay. Uh, Ray Bay means before anyone else, for your understanding. But here, Ray, the Ray figure. 
So starting off, her accessory is the staff that we would get from the Force Awakens sets. The staff is easily built with um, a shorter black rod and the lightsaber hilts. I apologize for that camera mistake, but it's built with a black rod that's slightly shorter and the black hilts, or the black lightsaber hilts. Ray does have one more accessory, which is Luke Skywalker lightsaber, which is the very nice silver hilt with the standard blue blade. So we'll put that one aside too. But onto the figure and the printing herself. This is Ray in her resistance outfit, and Lego could have done better with better detailing and more print, but it's okay. So Ray has her standard face there, which looks pretty much like Daisy Ridley, and it's very nice. And going on to, I'm, I'm going to use this as a pointer, going on to her torso, um, got her like white shirt from her original outfit, the two straps from her original outfit, the resistance vest, which is in the dark gray, and down here in the pants, got, just got knee pads and that belt continuing where she would hold a holster or pack. Now arm printing though, uh, nada. There is zero arm printing. I mean, you wouldn't really expect it on this Ray figure, but it's okay. Um, on the back here, you, you see her very nice hair. Um, it came in the Force Awakens sets earlier, but I just think they're really nice. With the three braids, it's very nice. Uh, back printing. Uh, not too much. It's just continuing her female-esque design. Female-esque design. And uh, her alternate face is a slightly matter. It is a slightly matter face. I apologize that this review is pretty long, but it'll be worth it. And the next figure is BB Porg. Now I'm going to be quick with this one, but simply the Porg here just has his uh, Porg shaped body, you know, very nice curved pieces, and has, has that BB-8 head, but that's totally alright. Spinning them. Taking a spin, uh, yeah. So, that's it for the Porg. Oh, something to note. The only other way to get this Porg is through the UCS Millennium Falcon. So you either pay $30 for a Porg, or $800 for a Porg. So, uh, choose wisely. Alright, so, here is Luke's hut. We finally got to it. Okay, so we're gonna start off on the outside. Um, Luke has his door, which, fun fact, this isn't part of his X-Wing. It's, it's a cloth piece. You could possibly use it on a figure, but I don't see why. Now, the hut is built up very nicely with its brick shape design. So that that's pretty nice. And has a few stickers throughout the whole set just to add detail to the brick. So I like that. The outside of the hut looks pretty sweet. And on, on the left here of the hut, you have this little, little porch. For a porg, so you could just put the porg right there. Otherwise, in the front here, uh, oh, something to mention: these sections can be detached because, you know, let's say you wanted to get some more of these sets, <clears throat> uh, that would cost a lot of money since thirty dollars each. But you could possibly put the huts together and make a little scene. Uh, you know, you know that scene if you've seen it with all the huts and stuff. But in the front here, to the steps down, oh, I don't want to reveal a feature there, but in the front here, steps down from the door of this hut, uh, just little surroundings, uh, a little fire going on here to keep yourself warm, a little step down, because over here, and on the other side here is just, just nothing too special, there's a boulder, which has a very nice place here. And a little spinning rack here. Now if you're wondering what it's supposed to do, is you take Ray, take Ray, equip her with her lightsaber. 
put it put her on this little pedestal and you can make her attack it now if it's in fully it won't go this way but if you turn her around dang it I, I did this before if you turn her around she can knock it over exactly like that so very nice but inside the boulder there is nothing very much but um Ooh, look at that it's a Jedi crystal I, I'm just kidding um it's just a regular crystal it doesn't mean anything I have to show you that feature again. Works perfectly. So in this very nice hut here, you can take the roof off. It just comes off like that. It's only attached by these two studs. The rest is just like that. So interior space. Let's uh, get a good overview. The interior space is very nice for a little hut here. And I honestly like it. Starting off on the left side here, there's a little hidden compartment that has some berries. And on top of that, it has this little mug here and a little lamp with a pan. So you could do some cooking. I'm, I'm guessing maybe this is like a fire and you do some cooking over, over it. And right here, you probably saw me knock it out by accident, but as you can see, it's loose. On the box, it states that maybe Luke... Your Luke is enraged. Let's say Luke has a temper tantrum. So he wants to knock some of his building out. So you just place the figure, like, with his hand up. And, oh wow, that that's not too powerful. But, hey, it's a good feature, you know? I mean, it doesn't have to do with anything in the movie, but it's alright. Let's try it a little harder. Yeah, if you go harder, then it works a bit better. On the right side here, what it, it looks like it's like a toilet, but it's not. It's like a bowl of something on the ground. And here is just a little twig mounted on the wall with some fish and this little backpack piece. Over here is a bed, I or I presume would be a bed that can just fold out. So you have extra space if it's folded in, or you fold it down... And maybe this is Ray's cabin if you want. And you could just make her sleep here. But on nights that uh, it's dark and there's some creatures out, I honestly like that you can do this. You could take Luke and Ray. You could put them, both can fit in here. Along with their accessories. So you could put their accessories like. You just put their accessories in here, and they all fit, and, it, and it's just it's just nice, honestly. And then put the roof back on. It works. Everything fits in there. I honestly like this set. Anyway, guys and girls, this is it for my LEGO Star Wars The Last Jedi Octu training review. And I really do recommend this set. So, go get it if you can, because the Luke figure is really going to be desirable, and the Porg is going to be sought after, because they're cute little guys that are hard to get. So, yeah, I recommend this set. Other than that, Skyforce, unite.